Leroy, I think uh, Jalen Phillips is going to have a tough time getting to the Dolphins facility today. Why? Why? Bro, I'm just saying he might get stopped by the metal detector because of these guns he's bringing into the into the uh, the facility. <laughs> hey, woo! Hey, pass rush extraordinary. Hey, we have a saying for guys who look good but don't play good. What's that mean? What? Look like Tarzan, play like Jane. Ah. I don't care about muscles. <laughs> how many how, how many muscles did Warren Sapp have? Uh, I mean, he had a belly muscle. How, how many muscles did Reggie White have? I mean, I don't, a Just lot. Big, strong dudes. I want to see him play. I want to see, you know, all the stuff that people had questions about in the past. Yeah. I want to see if, you know, now that he's there, if that's going to go away. It's got that's it. Four. Okay, 4-4 four, four don't mean nothing. Game Boy uh, threw when up. When is he ever going to run 40 yards? If he's running 40 yards, he's chasing somebody. Uh, he might be running 40 yards after he sacks the quarterback, takes the football, and runs 40 yards to the end zone. All right. All positive thoughts. Or, I like or, it. Or, or he drops back into coverage and gets the interception. Yep. Yep. You know, with those jacked arms of his. Or when, when a guy like Javante Williams is running 40 yards past Ooh. him down the field, he can come back and chase him. You know. Plus, he's got for, that swag. For, for, the, for the most part, Every football player is cut up. Not like this, dude. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah. L- they just don't right. all wear mediums. Dude's got dude's got the McDonald's straw veins going down that bicep. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's not even big arms, dude. Oh, That's just you're muscular. Crazy. Oh, nah, come really? on, man. No, you okay. know it's hurricane season. Hurricane Leroy already hitting. He's got uh he's Wait, look, look, Uncle Robbie. That's what look the twitchers are saying. <laughs> look at those forearms. Dude's Whoa. like Popeye. Okay. Dude's like Popeye. <laughs> So, I, you know what? So Something tells me he's a straight. lot more than spinach. Let, let me get this straight. <laughs> it's Hurricane Leroy because I'm huh? not going to say a guy's going to be uh, a great player because he, he has biceps. We need to get Channel 4 on the line to break and down this Hurricane Don't Leroy. Don't forget about forearms. And forearms. Don't forget about forearms. forearms. So that means he's going to be an excellent player. And by the way, not right. Wearing- Hey, listen, not wearing shoulder pads. That dude's the sh- his shoulders look like 1994 uh, shoulder pads. Hey, dummy. <laughs> Huh? The shirts are cut to fit shoulder pads, so yeah. they take the form of. Got an oh. answer for everything, don't you? Oh. Myth Berg says to, Tobin's Keep got more. Keep moving. Tobin's got more players on his phone than ass models. Yep. Technically, yep. I took that from Dolphins Reddit, but it is in the bookmark. Dolphins Reddit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, oh, Robbie, you look, love Dolphins look, Reddit, dude. Our players have muscles. <laughs> Really? Plus, he's got the swag. He's got the number 15. Like, it's just a good look. I don't know what to tell you. You know what else is a good look? Him getting off, up from off top of the quarterback. Well, I, I hey, listen, see that look. I can only go off what I can go off. Right now, you know what it is in football? It's winning the day. And he's winning the day. He's winning the day. That's it. I'm not, I'm not overreacting to it. I'm not putting too much into it. All I'm just saying with uh, Jalen Phillips is <laughs> winning the day. Same season with no egg monogamy. Carpe Hitting DM. that sled. Carpe hey, DM. Somebody say I got a record dummies call today. Let me call you dummies. <laughs> Look. Do you know uh do you know I what, have you know? no problem? I have no problem with the silly sauce. Hmm? Okay? Yep. But then it goes too far. What are you talking about? This is too far. He's nah. gonna be great. Look at those guns. Dude. How's he get into the facility? <laughs> boop, boop. Excuse me, Mr. Phillips. You have to come back here. Oh, sorry. Too much protein this morning. <laughs> and he has a really deep voice. Of course. <laughs> Wouldn't it be something if we had him on Twitch? And he says, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up? We, we would not. We would start laughing. At, look, <laughs> we got to get him on the show now. Jalen Phillips on, if we have Jalen Phillips on, his voice better fit his body. Because if it doesn't, we're not going to be able to do the interview because of you. Because I'm, of you, that's gonna, right. Look, I'm, if we you almost got us fired in the in the in the meeting, right? With the, with the zoo googles? Yes. Because <laughs> no, look. Is it possible that we were the whole off- time when that happened? I go, don't look at, don't look at Tobin, don't look at Tobin, don't look at Tobin. Definitely don't look at Beast. I look up, and you're giving me the look. Is it possible that we could interview Jalen Phillips? Uh, on Twitch, but he has to be in the gym just doing curls. 
<laughs> Dude. What? I don't, I don't understand why. Right. Cam Wake is way bigger than him. Uh, agreed, but Cam Wake was a monster. Right. That's my point. You're taking muscles and making him a monster. Yeah. Dude, do you know how many jack football players there are? Not like Cam Wake, dude. Cam Wake was wearing bras. Yes. He loved yes. his body so much. You just saw his because he wore tiny, tiny, tiny little Okay, shirt. but Cam Wake, Cam Wake came to the NFL at like 25. Jalen Phillips is young. Remember, Cam Wake was in Canada. Okay. Oh, he must have been so scary okay. in Canada. Okay. 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 Look, see, here's the problem when we have these conversations. We have these conversations – and it, it gives the appearance that I don't like these players. And that's not the case at all. Why? Because I'm feel just like merely have... getting on y'all because you're deeming a guy great because he got a couple of biceps. A couple of big ass biceps, dude. Come on. That's not big, big biceps. Old, not dude. A beef. Uh, they're that's big, not bi- all you're they're doing big, is dude. seeing a guy cut up. Those aren't big biceps. Nah, you're crazy. They're not. You're crazy. They're just muscular. I'm telling you. Go look at an offensive lineman. Go look at all his alignments biceps. What about him? Make that look like dude has a, a string hanging from his arm. Look at this. Look, look at that. Looks like a water balloon. Look at that. That's not a big bicep. Dude. Wow. Man. I don't know what, what muscles like You're Leroy nuts. hates arm day. Oh, look at this. I'll tell you but what. But you know what I do like? I like game day. I'll tell you what. Where muscles don't matter. Not skipping leg day either. Dude, what are you doing? Now it's uncomfortable. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Football. No, he said Leroy's envious because he's known as a fat back fullback. Ooh. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> you want to read the Smeetha comment? <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to read it. Anti-muscles because he was built like that. No, I wasn't built like Daniel Cormier. <laughs> no, I was cut up. Seriously. You were shredded. I was cut up and just had those pads. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite? Uh, what was your favorite weight thing to do? <laughs> what? What was your favorite? Yeah, like, weight? What was your favorite thing in the gym? What, when you were in the Iron Paradise, what Leroy Horde like to get after? No, I did. Um, how about this? Hmm? When I lifted, I did. I did supersets. Oh, I so you did do, like a I bunch in do, a row? Huh? You did like a bunch of exercises in a row? No, I would just like so say if you start off, you start off with a weight that mm-hmm. you could lift eight to ten times. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't. I didn't do bench. I did the um, the other the other machines, right? Um, and so say I put three forty fives on there, and then I go till I yeah. can't go no more. So that's eight to ten reps. Then I take a forty five off, do as many as I can, then take a a forty five and just keep going. You were with those rubber bands. You ever put chains on your uh, your bench press? No, dude. What what deadlift? Like here, I have a rule. They said how many times did you lift two twenty five? I said, I don't know, but I know this. If I'm playing in a game and I got a bench press 225 off of me, I screwed up long before then. What do you what do you think Logan Paul did to train to hold Floyd Mayweather so well? I mean, by the way he was talking, I mean, he wasn't boxing. Myth he was Merck's, grappling. Myth Merck says uh, Leroy loves squats and deadlifts, fullback workout. You did that all stop? Oh. No. I hated I hated leg day. Uh, all start was probably all I did was I did stretch and I did like I would do like um a weight I could do like a hundred leg presses, mm-hmm. like fifty leg curls and like that. So I, I didn't I never did heavy weight and I, I never did legs during the year. They would say, Leroy, are we doing legs today? I said, I do legs on Sunday. <laughs> Seriously, you ask anybody. Everybody say, Hey Leroy, are we doing legs this week? I do legs on Sunday. <laughs> So Robbie, what was the opening segment on Get Up today? Because I had uh, I had guessed that it's Diana Rossini at, at Packers camp, uh, ready ready to report on Aaron Rodgers. What was the opening uh, the opening segment today? Technically, Get Up hasn't started yet. It starts at eight, but it's a sports center. They have a sp- an hour sports center before Get Up, and right away is that last commercial break. It's Diana Rossini talking about Aaron Rodgers not yeah, showing course. up to mini camp. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and, 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 talk and, about. and you want to know something? It's going to be the topic that Leroy that Leroy brought up today. That's going to be the topic on today's show. Mm-hmm. They can find him. It's like Max Kellerman. Would you find him? And he's going to go. Uh, he's going to say yes. And then Stephen A. Smith is going to say no. 
And then uh, that's that's how the debate show is going to work today. Would you have fined Aaron Rodgers oh. for not showing up? Skip would fine him. Shannon probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's another debate. I, yeah. I mean. Ryan Clark. Are the Dolphins going to have any fine issues? Like if Xavier Howard doesn't show up because maybe he's uh, he wants a, he wants a little boosty boost in his pay and he doesn't show up to minicamp. Will Greer find him? I, I think for the boost, he won't care. That's the that's what you know. That was the question though. Like you, I'm, I'm asking like to see relationship wise, would they, uh, you know, would they would they find him or would they know that it's probably it's, coming? Here, I'll tell you how this works. It depends on how the conversations have gone up to now. So if they've said, "No, we're not redoing your contract. We'll think about it after next year." And he says, I want a new contract now. And that's the where it ended. And he doesn't show up, they'll find him. Mm. But if they've been having conversations, like, you know, working towards that goal, and he thinks that and he trusts them and that they'll they're gonna do right by him or whatever, or, or re, you know, do something for him, then he'll show up. It, it's kind of, you know, when they talk about the relationships that, you know you have to have in your organization. Um, that's an important one. Now, sometimes it's just not going to matter, right? Like, for example, I think M- Minka Fitzpatrick was an example um, for Flo to, to tell guys, look, if you don't want to be here, let me know. I'll get you out. That's true, but yeah, because if you let them. You see what I mean? Yeah, if you don't, if you if you allow the rookie to to push around in what role he wants, then all of a sudden you're or not even it wasn't a rookie at the second time; it was year. a second year. Very but it's it's not it's not it's not even that. Yeah. It's that you want people that want a vested interest in what you're doing, and if you're going to have a guy that is not going to be satisfied with the role that you have him in, then you just let everybody know. Look, hey, if you don't want to be here, let me know; we we'll get you out. You know, but for the most part, I think a lot of the players really like Flo. I think they like the situation they're in. I think they like the organization. Like Did you, you, uh... you know, I was telling you um, Sunday, people don't understand, and I've said this from the beginning, all owners don't invest money into their franchise. Well, I was in Carolina. I got charged for socks. Yeah, I wanted an extra pair of socks. Took it out my check. I mean, they were an expansion, an expansion franchise around that time when you were in the Carolina. Don't let it do the like, socks. That, the guy built a statue of himself with Panthers, Robbie. <laughs> right. It just started. Like, it, you Brand know new what? Company. That is, I mean, Will Ferrell should play him. Because the uh, only, only time I could think of somebody building a statue of themselves like that is in a Will Ferrell movie. Yeah. What was that basketball movie he was in? Oh, semi pro, uh, Jackie Moon. Semi pro. Jackie, 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 Moon. Moon. Back, back, back. Jackie yeah. Moon would build a. I, I can yeah, see. I mean, come on, uh, think I, about that. I, I could definitely see uh, Will Ferrell requesting to shave women's legs. Hmm. Didn't uh, didn't I'm Pudge just... didn't Pudge get a statue of himself in his front yard? What a strange thing! Like, listen, I know everybody's got their own things. That's fine, but man, wanting to shave a woman's leg, huh? It's a weird one from the old Carolina. Is he still with us or is he dead? No, he's 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 still with us, I believe. He's not still with, with the us. Pan- he's not with the Panthers, but he's still. No, with he's us. not with the well, Panthers. Yeah, the team. Yeah, they 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 sold him to that. that. That guy's really rich now. Who owns the Panthers? Tepper. He's like, yeah, he's he's super rich. But so uh, was the last guy. Yeah, but he was cheap. Yeah, like you cheap. guys don't you guys don't understand? Like, I mean, if you think about what Steve Ross has spent over a billion dollars of his money. Right. On this franchise. No, he has turned he's turned Hard Rock Stadium and that entire facility into like a big event wonderland. It and really if you like, haven't seen their new facility, it oh my is god. It un- looks am- just seeing the outside of it, it looks incredible. Dude, it looks it, it looks like a, a state of the art, whatever. Yeah, just whatever name something. when you see that stupid bubble that they used to have for Nick Saban, now Robbie, it's like a complete building that they play inside football in. Robbie, it's you amazing. could put your fans in there and have fights in there. And That's they still, but they still have the sweat fields, Robbie, so they could go both ways. Oh, oh. well, you always got to have outdoor fields if you play on grass. Got always. To. Oh have yeah. To. How much do you think they're watering the that grass? Because they had those sprinklers going hard. You got to you got to keep it pretty. You got to pe- keep it pretty soft because keep in mind you're always having cleats on there. You know what? Now I just so, realized 
The Dolphins, well, they have a, a field where they can practice on when it's really hot because that's they mm-hmm. play a lot of their games there. They have an indoor practice facility in case there's bad weather and they can't practice. So they know how to play in domes. But they don't have a frozen field. They need to have a frozen field so that when they go to places like Buffalo in Week 17, they're ready to play. They need to have a, a cold practice field. It's not a bad idea. Like, could you? Uh, could you? Like, could you uh, somehow take an ice rink technology um, and put it with me, the grass? Excuse me, idiots! Make, what? Idiots! What? In most cases, the field does not freeze unless it rains. Okay, because they have they have uh, either heaters like Green Bay. But the craziest thing about Green Bay, they have coils underneath the field, mm-hmm. so the field doesn't freeze. But what happens is it gets kind of muddy. Right, and the mud would freeze on you. Well, what they could do, maybe what they could do is have a snow cone machine yes. out there, right? And they have the footballs in there to kind of <laughs> soak them up with the icy feeling, so Tua can get used to the numbness on the fingertips. You know, can I say this? <laughs> Still be able to spin it. There, there is nothing that you can do hmm? to get ready. To play in cold games. Nothing. I was, in the, I was in Minnesota. Did you tell us? And you we would practice outside. Like we were we would practice outside, right? And the only thing that did was make you miserable during the week. Maybe. Then, because because keep in mind, when you play a game, you play you're playing football for five, ten minute stretches. Mm-hmm. And then you go put the coat on and get underneath the heaters. When you practice, you just standing out there in the damn cold. What about what if they go to the Panthers ice den? All right, and they get those little uh, you know speed skating shoes on them. I right? Don't think you understood me. <laughs> Let me see if I if I repeat it. Or just for the Bills games. Say it say it in a different way. You'll understand. There is no substitute. There is nothing you can do to simulate playing in cold weather well it's never back when you played i agree but the technology has changed leroy i'm saying even if you practice in the cold Mm -hmm. all week it doesn't help you in game time playing in cold weather well dude you don't remember you don't remember cool run-ins when john candy put the jamaican bobsled team in the freezer to get used to canadian weather boxed in Dude, Robbie, I will punch you in the face. So rules are rules. I don't know what to tell you. You've been boxed <laughs> in. Back after this.